Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So tomorrow is Easter. We are gonna go ahead and pour over this big Easter egg that I got from the dollar store. It does of course open up. I am gonna pour over the whole thing and then when it's dry, I'm just gonna take um, like an X-Acto knife and go along the edge and I will seal it with my normal, actually I might not even seal it to be perfectly honest. I'm just gonna be filling it full of candy and goodies for my daughter. I just thought it would be really cute to create something a little more unique than just the regular plastic eggs. This has kind of a flat bottom and so that will help me <laughs> with this. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up. There we go. I have a 10 by 10 canvas underneath here. Actually, I'm gonna pour my cup of paint first and I am gonna use some leftover paint. I've got some really pretty colors in here, some metallics, but I'm gonna to add to it and these are all pretty spring colors. I think there's some navy blue in there too and stuff though, but I'm gonna add some metallic pink. I'm gonna add some gold or actually, I'm gonna add some rose gold, why not? So I'm hoping we can get some really pretty reactions do some turquoise and I'm just filling up my cup with enough paint to cover the canvas so that will cover both the egg and the canvas keep in mind that the colors that are in the cup first will be the ones that mainly are on that egg <laughs> so see a little bit of this green and some yellow yeah, so for this size canvas, I need a little over six ounces of paint. So I put, I mean, honestly, probably more like seven ounces in here. That's okay. All right, so I'm gonna center this because this isn't really stable on here. And then I'm gonna try to pour kind of carefully on here so I don't knock it off, ideally. If it does fall off, well, we'll deal with it. I'm not gonna stress too much. So keep in mind these colors that are going on there right now will be the ones on the canvas and the colors in the bottom of that cup I'm gonna go kind of randomly on here you can see that rose gold already kind of exploding lots of pink okay, if I had thought this through a little bit more my daughter likes blue <laughs> And I don't think she's much of a pink fan. I do have another egg though that I did earlier, which I'm gonna go ahead and grab. It's not 100% dry, but these do dry pretty quickly. I'm gonna grab it just to show you guys. Maybe she'll like it better. So it's still a tiny bit wet on the bottom. Here's one I did earlier though. Super pretty. So definitely needs some more drying time. And uh, just like a vase, I'd probably let this drip for, let's say about two minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that keep dripping. If you're not happy with it, feel free to continue, pour a little bit more over it. I think this is fun though. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I think she'll like it either way. And it's definitely fun and unique. And if you pour, it's going to come out differently depending on how you pour it. Tree ring, or I did more ribbons, things like that. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right, so this has slowed down. I'm going to carefully lift it up. Actually, the cup I put under there is a little too small. I did not think that through. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to take another cup and put it over here. And I'm going to just gingerly lift this up from the bottom. So my bad, use a cup that's a little bit higher so it's easier to move. Don't stress too much if you touch the bottom of it because the paint's gonna keep moving. So even if you do get a little mess up on the bottom there, it's okay. The paint will keep moving and cover it up. Yeah, so, and this is going to be fun. So just like when you do a vase, if you have ever seen a vase or done a vase, you get these kind of feathered patterns on the canvas. So this is giving us kind of a similar effect. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt. 
I think these are really interesting colors. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that navy blue at the bottom of the cup, to be honest, until I had already started, but that's okay. And I do have parchment paper underneath here to catch the runoff. And then I use that runoff in other projects, which if you go to my YouTube channel, or if you go to YouTube and you type in mixed media girl skins, cause that's what they're called, acrylic skins, you'll come up with quite a few videos. Unfortunately, searching on Facebook is really, they make it hard. But if you go to YouTube and just type in mixed media girl skins, you'll see all kinds of project videos that I've done and probably some other YouTubers as well. I think this is really pretty and what a interesting color combination. I have used lots of rose gold with navy, but this is a lot of pink with navy which I think is really pretty. And I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and let the egg sit for a little bit more and then show you a close up on both. All right, let's go ahead and start with the canvas. So just some beautiful patterns on here and reactions. And I love that contrast with the pink and the navy blue. Like such an interesting color combination. We got even some of that little bit of yellow popping through, little bits of green of that leftover paint this is just awesome and pink is not my color <laughs> but this is looking great and then here is the egg is definitely changing and you can see cells on there from that rose gold which i think is awesome so this is really pretty so you can still kind of see that line there so as soon as this dries i'll just go ahead and take uh you know exacto knife or razor and cut that back open and this will be dry by tomorrow, plenty of time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you guys have some fantastic plans for Easter. Uh, enjoy your family or just enjoy hanging out and doing nothing either way. Let me know what you guys think of this project. I'll see y'all next time.